Sylvester from Chocolate and Curse. How are you doing? How have you been? It's been a while. Um, the last time you saw me, I was detangling my hair for braids, and that was like four weeks ago. These braids are about to go. Um, I hope you're relaxed. Um, after all the craziness that went on yesterday, the scandal finale, and Beyonce doing all that, like, I'm tired. I hope you are too. But I may be using a lot of American slang, you know what I'm saying? Because like y'all like all up in my grill and stuff. <laughs> but I can't I can't for the life of me like handle all this. Whew. It's been crazy. Um I've got a haul. This is a haul. First I'll quickly do my empties. I have a few empties that I've been storing and I'm like I'm gonna show I'm gonna show it. Um and I have it. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And then we can run through it hopefully we can keep this under 10 minutes but it's a big haul this is the beauty haul i'm doing some home decor some technology and stuff so i'm going to be showing you in bits and bobs um yeah so let's get started um empties here yeah i've got a whole a whole table of stuff um yeah so this is the Body Shop Coconut Body Butter. I ran out of share butter so I couldn't make my own because I swear by my own um, body butters. So this is the uh, Coconut Body Butter by Body Shop. Um, that is out. All gone. I loved it. Kinda. I prefer my own. This is a Jane Carter solution. My husband used all of this. This is for my hair but he loves it so much he used all of it on himself. So this is Jane Carter solution. Nourish and shine. It's gone. Put that on the floor. This I hauled long time ago when I was doing my skincare haul in one of the old videos. This is the Pus Botanics Super Serum Radiant Youth. It's gone. It's okay. Um, but I'm still looking for something else. This is the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera Formula. It's a toner. I liked it. Um, I may get it again if I can get my hands on it. And the last two... Um, is the Botanics Rose Water Toning Spritz. I love this. I will get it again. Um, but I'm trying other things, so yeah. And this is the Afrocentrics Minimoy Travel Size Body Butter with Coconut Oil. This is the bomb. I love it. I will get it again. And yeah, it's a homegrown British brand. Three girls I've met who do this. And they put me on the smell Ylang Ylang. And I love it, so I'm actually going to get that essential oil. So, these are the empties done and dusted. Um, let's start with the hair. I'm getting into protective styling because my ends were breaking off. I showed you, um, and I thought it would be really boring just to be doing black hair all the time. And when my hair gets bigger, I want to get colored hair, I want to, I don't want the urban reds and stuff i want dark purples like deep purples or really really dark blue like so blue it looks black so i went online here and i found out that somebody in the uk actually does colored synthetic extensions you all know i don't like human hair um so i went online ordered it i ordered it on tuesday and they arrived today so i'm like yay now i can show it in my whole video um these are the packs i bought a few because i wanted to see how they look like because online you know photography and things can make things look how you're not supposed to but i totally love them and i'm gonna get some more so this is the superior quality um canicle and jumbo braid and this is an orchid this is the kind of per i hope you can see it this is the kind of purple i would love my hair to look like when it gets bigger so I'm going to braid it so I can see how it looks like first before I take the plunge. So that is the first thing. I think these are $2.99. And this is navy blue. It's also the um, Caniculum Jimba braid. And it's this kind of blue. This is the kind of blue I want my hair to look like. It looks, it has a deep sea of blue. I think the Manic Panic Raven could do that for me. But they're talking about bleaches and things. And I want to see how my how it looks against my skin first before I take the plunge so yeah and I bought two of them the raven so that's two ninety nine each so let's start with beauty stuff 
Um, I've been to Lush, I've been to Boots, and I have been to online Anita Grant. You all know I love Anita Grant. I love her makeup. I love her shampoo bars and her conditioners. So let us start with Lush. I went into Lush at Liverpool Street because my train was delayed and you can smell Lush everywhere and I thought I heard about them doing like a range for natural hair and I wanted to go and check it out. This is a hair conditioner called American Cream. Honey, it smells amazing. I, when I wash my hair with a normal, you know, um, shampoo, I use the Alberto Balsam, the one pound one. Um, I use the Juicy Apple one um, to wash my hair. And then, so I wash it from the roots and it really, I make sure it lathers. I wash twice because my scalp gets really itchy. And then I put this on my hair, take a shower, and then I'm out. Um, it's the strawberry vanilla milkshake, which will bring all the boys to the yard. Hello. Um, I totally love it. Love it, love it. This is £4.50, I believe. And I will get a bigger one because obviously the bigger you get, the cheaper it is. I love it. Um, another thing, this is RMB Hair Moisturiser. And one thing with Lush products is if you are prone to migraines due to scented products, you shouldn't. Um, I get migraines, but I use this sparingly, and yeah, smells amazing, it looks like that. It's a really, you can you can just take a dab, like so, and I think that's enough for like edges and things like that. So when I wash my hair, or during the week when my scalp is itchy, <clears throat> because it's dry, I put this on. And it's, yeah, Revive and Balance, that's what the R&B stands for. Um, it contains all the good stuff, oat milk, glycerin, avocado butter, you know, good stuff, good stuff. I do not remember how much this is, but I think it was less than this henna. So that is the R&B hair moisturizer from Lush. That is Lush done. So, let us go to lipsticks, I think. Um, I was doing my usual Instagram prowl, you know, checking out girls with big lips, because, like, it's lashes and things. And I saw this girl wearing this amazing lipstick and I'm like, I've got to have it. And I found that it was the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipstick. And that was in Dark Night Water Loops. It's a really lovely purple colour. Um, deep purple, great for this kind of fall season. And it looks like that. So that is a nut. that's how it looks like when it comes out. That's the bullet. Totally loved it. Went to pick it up. It was they were doing a three for two in Superdrug, so I decided, hey, let me get something else. And I found another color, which I'm wearing on my lips today, and that is called Glum Glum Plum Fulham. These are named after, you know, towns or cities in London. Is it a town? Yeah. So is it a town? I don't know. Um. So yeah, I picked up these two, and I picked up a nail polish, which I'll show later. But these two, I think it was £6.45 and I got the nail polish for free. So kind of like if you take into account how much the nail polish is, you could get it. So it was around a fiver. And the last lipstick I've got here is a Christian Dior lipstick in 999. Uh, yeah, Dior Rouge. Yeah, Rouge. My mum has given up the fight and <laughs> she thought... Um, I'll feel very self-conscious when I wear lipstick because I've got like full lips but she came up to me I went to meet her for the brunch the other day and she gave me this and it's red and I'm like are you kidding and she's like yeah I know you love red lipstick so it's quite a nice orangey toned red it's I don't know I'll be rocking this more in the summer and spring but yeah you can rock whatever you want whatever So let's go to beauty boxes. Yay! I, doing my normal vlog prowl, saw this. I've heard, you know, beauty boxes came and they went and they were not popular anymore. But then I saw the concepts of this box and I had to have it. This is the latest in beauty, the Glamour Beauty Edit. Black glamorous bo bo box. <laughs> and what's inside is why i got it i don't care for much for this but i could use it this is a feminine hold spray so i bet if i put some gel and i put this over it it will be fine and i do not possess an eyelash curler so i'm like yes honey 
I got this one. These are the Ico Lush Curlers. I think Ico and Alexander, Alexa Chung are having a little thing going on now. Um, this is the Philip Kingsley One More Day Dry Shampoo. It's Philip Kingsley like, hello. Um, this is the Maybe It's Maybelline. These are the baby lips, the ever infamous baby lips. I haven't bought one, so I've got this. This is a Balance Me Radiance Face Oil. I love face oil. I have their juicy samples. I'm going to get the bigger ones and I'll review them later. This is the Benefit Mascara. Are, are they real? I love this. I had one. I actually did a blog post about it. And when I got another piece, I'm like, yes. And this is a clincher. Like, this is the HD Brow Kit. This is the price of the entire box. The box is $14.95. And then the postage is like for three, four pounds, so it came to like 18, 19 quid. Totally worth it because literally this pays for the entire book. So this is free. This free. This free. This free. Totally love it. Go get yours. I do not know if they've run out, but with the buzz that's going out about this box for Christmas, go get yours. If it's run out, then I'm really sorry. Um, so now let's go to skincare. Um, yeah, I do not use a face moisturizer with SPF, um, which is quite bad. My friend was like, "It's winter. Why do you need it?" I'm like, "You need it all the time, um, because UVA, UVB rays are not non-existent because the sun is not hot enough for you to feel it on your skin." So I went into Boots last night. And I picked up Simple Protecting Moisture Cream in SPF 30. Quite low price, but lower fiber. I just used it this morning, so I can't review it. But I'm willing to give it a go. It came in this box. I picked up the Avene Othermal Deep Pigment Reach. Um, I'm really bad with spots. Like, I'll break them and they'll get scarred and they'll get black. And really pigmented on my skin so I asked the lady like I need something to line my spots I did not want a wash that would lighten my whole face I wanted something that I can put around an area and all fade gradually and she recommended this quite expensive for £35 and I hope it's worth it this is for dry skin but you have to use it at night I was too knackered to use it last night but let me show you what it looks like it comes in a tube and the tip is quite fine so I think you just get like just enough that you need so yeah this is the Avene Depigmentalish lotion dark spot like that the other thing I got from Boots I had a one pound of voucher for natural lights I love I am an eyelash virgin like I've never put some on before no, actually, when I was getting married, um, I had somebody do some for me. But yeah, personally, I haven't done so. I got the natural volume for a natural better saddle full look. And I had a pound of voucher from Boots, so I decided to nab it, you know, for the Christmas season and things. So it looks like so. Yeah. Um, I do realise that the sun is quite bright in the room at the minute, so I'm going to be putting pictures of all these things. Um, yeah, so let's move on to face wipes. Um, the Simple had a deal for two for three for two, so I picked up their Kind to Skin Exfoliating Face Wipes to take off my makeup first before I do a wash in the evening, or, you know, just general mishaps, and I picked up the Boots Essential Cucumber. Um, I like it, it's quite okay. And um, so these are two face wipes. And then, um, this, I picked up this Kind to Skin Facial Toner, which will be the last one of the three for two. It's from Simple. I really don't mind it, and I've heard good things about it. So, yeah, it's um, with multivitamins and things and all that. No artificial perfume or colour. You know all the good stuff um some other thing i picked up i'm really getting my nail polish game on um uh, i keep on hoarding nail polish and i never seem to have a minute to wear them so i've heard great stuff about this mavala 
sort of a sedgevite kind of dry thing. I already had a top coat, so I didn't want to get another top coat. So I thought I'll just get this. And this is quite expensive. It's £10.45. I got it for the, from the local department store up in Enfield Town. Uh, here. So this is the Mavala Mother Dry. Um, it's in French. Oh, so it's nail polish dryer basically. And yeah, it, it apparently helps you dry your nails within 30 seconds or something like that. Um, I picked up this in Superdrug. I really love it, so I'm showing it. This is the Palmer Shea Butter Formula of Vitamin E Concentrated Hand Cream. During the winter time, I seem to get really dry hands and they get really dark around here and it's really disgusting. And I've been swearing by this hand cream from a purple store. Um, it smells and it still doesn't do anything for me. So I just popped into Superdrug over lunchtime and I picked this because it was yellow and it was £1.30 and it's now freaking amazing that I will tell you to go get yourself one. Quite thick formula really really pick like really really concentrated like that is enough for both hands um i can't like put it on because i still got sw swatches amazing it's for extra dry skin you can put it on your hands your elbows your knees and your feet so let's go to nail care interestingly this is empty this is another empty it's just a normal nourishing nail polish remover from super drug um it was like a pound and i need to get another one so that goes to the floor nail polish stuff um as i said i'm trying to get my nail polish game on so i picked up no i actually got this from amazon this is sally henson instant cuticle remover which is okay i've used it once and um, i need to try it some more to go like yes it's the bomb go get it so that is it the three for two deal on the lipsticks or the Rimmel brand i picked up this pale yellow um, color from Rommel. It's called. Yeah, that is a weird name. I don't have it here, which is quite okay. But it was called Banana Banana something something. It's called Round and Round in Circles. I lied. Quite cool. I love this this color. I got a really bright color that I hated. Um, so this is a pale yellow which I'd love. Um. Essie now has, or maybe it's just me that is late to this party, but Essie has, you know, nail places in Superdrug and Boots now. So um, I picked up this one. It is called. Interesting. I can't seem to find it. Okay. Bobbing for Baubles. Quite a nice dark greyish blue colour. It actually looks black, but I will apply it thinly. I really like it. Um, it's good for the dark times we're in. This is just a normal two true long wearing uh, top coat and this is the SE first base base coat that I picked up. Um, so these are the nail polishes. Um, as I said I will be, I'll take pictures and try and insert them into this um, video because it's quite bright and the sun may not help you see it. These are normal cotton wool double face oval pads that I get from Boots. I like them because they're double sided and it depends on what I'm doing. I can use this side or the other side, the end. And yeah, we're almost at the end of the haul. Oh, it fell. Um, so I did it, it was a, three, a two for 15 quid in um, Body Shop. So we finished the coconut but body butter and we picked up not so bad <laughs> it's not so bad it's the olive body butter it's interesting from the time i used to really get um body butter from the body shop the consistency has changed is quite it was really i don't know it's not light but it's really easy to get it it used to be really tough to get body butters out of the jars but i think they've like like in the form a bit last but not least but definitely awesome is the Anita Grant stuff. It was Black Friday. We know this is the UK. We don't have Black Friday because we don't have Thanksgiving. But we, you know, it's the internet and everybody's on it. And I decided, hey, Anita Grant decided to take the, you know, whatever, and say twenty percent off stuff, or was it plus free delivery? And I'm like, yes. I hate paying for delivery. I do not understand. Um, 
so I think I showed you the mineral face thingy which I'm in hot fudge I loved it it lasted for a while though it was a really tiny pot like two grams or a gram and I decided to get the big one which is like 11 pounds which is a fraction of what bare mineral sells the DS4 and it's a homegrown brand and you know her and you know she is not going to like it's not a big corporate thing and I love it so I got the big one which I'm not wearing I'm actually wearing sleek decided to try some other things I love Ylang Ylang because of the mini moi so I picked up another shampoo bar I haven't opened it I don't know her packaging is so oh that is the smell it's quite big um oh I can't wait to use it I seriously can't love it this is the organic kelp and ylang babasu shampoo bar from the smell and from me using the peppermint one the other time love it I picked up some deep conditioner here deep conditioners are quite famous they actually run out and they're like some of them cost like come on let me use my nail to break you and um, some of them cost like like a whole block cost 60 quid but if they're running out that means they're good um, Oh, come on. Yes. So I picked up the Russell Deep Condish Handmade with Love from Anita. Ooh. Okay. So they look like so tightly wrapped in plastic. So two of them. So these are deep conditioners. So let me see. Actually has instructions on how to use them. Um... They only want one mix enough for one application. You have to put it in a heat resistant bowl, add hot liquid, and then break it, and then put the mud on your hair. Okay, I'll try that when I take my hair out. So that is the haul. That is the haul. I hope I didn't keep too long. I'm sorry if I rushed. Um, pictures will be on the blog. Um, I'm gonna act like Beyonce and not tell you anything that's going on with the blog. But hey, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> But yeah, it's so good to be doing another video and I hope you enjoy this haul. I said put pictures in and um, tell me what you thought. If you have tried any of these or if you think I'll love anything else, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Have a great weekend. Bye.